This is Asset X. It is a highly complex facility with expensive equipment, numerous processes, and systems on board. A high-risk environment that's difficult to access physically. There are many stakeholders working with the asset offshore and on land, including highly trained operations and maintenance crews, specialized systems experts, supervisors, and managers. Andy is one of them, and he works on the asset. Every day, he accesses data from 10 different systems in order to do his job. Each system is isolated, and there's a limited amount of automated data interaction between them. For Andy, this means a lot of his time is spent gathering the data to plan his day, interacting with people across different disciplines before he can even start his maintenance or production activity. Meanwhile, his performance and productivity can be directly linked to time on tools. Andy is doing a great job and is always busy, but there's a gap between what he's doing today and what he could be doing. Jenna is responsible for the business improvement processes that support the operating facilities. It's important for her to have an overview of what is happening on the asset, understand the opportunity landscape for optimizing performance, and to be able to identify areas of non-compliance. Therefore, she spends a lot of her time gathering the data she needs from numerous systems, applications, and expert groups. Cognitwin Energy can substantially help them both. Cognitwin Energy unifies all data from the asset, including the systems and processes, using a data contextualization engine, Cognitwin Unify. The unification allows users to build logical structures and hierarchies, and also identify and separate out unique subsystems. Users access the data through specialized applications. By collapsing many of the existing applications to a manageable view, Cognitwin Energy simplifies the daily workflow and provides a real-time decision support tool so that all types of users, wherever they are located, have a unified overview of the asset. From now on, Andy and Jenna will be able to access the applications they require every day wherever they're located to quickly access all the information they need to do the most interesting and valuable part of their work more efficiently. A digital twin with fully unified data, as powerful as it is, cannot help users look into the future. To do this, we must understand the asset's behavior. Because the behavior is transient, workers need to dynamically plan for and react to change. Tools that give them insight beyond the data that's measured, allowing them to perform what-if scenarios and look into the future, hold massive potential for proactively improving performance. These capabilities can be achieved by introducing a combination of physics and data models, what we call hybrid AI, generating accurate synthetic data to complete missing data points, simulating precise behavior, and substantially supporting human decision-making. With these models fused with the unified data, the users have a dynamic representation of the asset where its behavior is fully described, a true dynamic digital twin, with a true dynamic digital twin, users can explore, investigate, and predict future behavior. They can reveal and prevent unknown and unwanted future states, and likewise explore and find optimum asset settings. In the beginning, the dynamic digital twins will assist human decision-making and remote operations. But one can imagine giving software and algorithms elevated privileges to make advanced decisions in the future and maybe one day enabling fully autonomous assets.